Uh, last year we did there? a good dip, pea mm -hmm. popping dip, black eyed peas. Oh, I remember that. It that was, was very delicious. good. Yes, it was. Very good. Didn't expect to have black eyed peas in it, but this time, when you normally hear the phrase corny, you don't think of corn dip. No. But this time we got a corny dip. Really? So it's okay really. to be corny? It's okay to be corny in this okay. case. All right. Just in this case. <laughs> okay. I, I, I got you, Chef. <laughs> so we're going to start it with one small onion that's chopped. And you'll cook this until it's like translucent. And then you'll add your bell, red bell pepper, one half cup, finely chopped. Cook that down. You got poblano pepper. Okay. Poblano. Is that poblano a hot? pepper? Is that a hot it's pepper? not. It's really mild. Okay. When you think of the scale, it's really a mild pepper. Yeah, is this like a southwestern recipe here? Actually, or how would it's you describe not. it? It's not. It's just you go to the farmer's market, you say, oh, that looks good. That's fresh. <laughs> yes. You bite into that corn, it's sweet, it's bursting with the juices and yes, flavor. Yes, yes, I can it's see it. Mm. I can feel it. I can almost taste it. You want a little color? So yes. you get the red bell peppers and your onions. Now, how did you prep that poblano pepper before you put it in there? Very good question. What you have to do for poblano peppers, and I'm adding corn, that we grate it first. And the reason why we grate it, and then I'll get to that question okay. about poblano peppers, is because with fresh corn, you get the milk of okay. the corn. Okay. And that can substitute for cream, uh, heavy cream, cream cheese, mayos that normally find in dips. Okay? And that's where you're cutting your calories. And that's and where your you're fat, cutting your huh? calories and your that. fat. You are so smart. Can I be you when I grow up? <laughs> Keep wishing. <laughs> Keep dreaming. We're adding, so this is this really is coming up to temperature. So we're gonna add one teaspoon salt. Okay. Half not a, a lot of salt at all. No, not it's so much flavor in here okay. you don't need it. Salt okay. is just gonna enhance the flavor for you. Half a teaspoon cayenne pepper for that little heat. And about the poblano pepper, the poblano pepper has a really tough skin to it. Mm -hmm. So the best way to prep it is to actually just place it on your burner and char it oh. on all sides. And once it's charred, place it in a, some type of bowl or a plastic bag, okay. seal it up, and about 30 minutes later, the skin will just rub off. And you can use it however, you know, chili rellanos. Yes. Yes. That's, oh, that's yeah, you easy. prep it that way first. Now, is this as spicy or is it as hot as a jalapeno? No. It's not? No. Normally, the smaller the pepper, the spicier it is. Oh. oh. But, the smaller the pepper, right. the spicier. Right. Good yeah. things come but in small But also, packages. since it is a mild pepper, and you, sh and, you know, you still don't want that, that light heat to it, mm -hmm. you can always remove the membrane and the seeds to it. And that's where the heat That's where the from. heat is, yeah. So this is not, because it looks like a green pepper, but it is definitely spicier than a it green pepper. It is very spicier than a green pepper, okay. yeah. All right, what did you put in there? Uh, this is uh, half a cup of cheddar cheese, one half cup Monterey Jack cheese, and you'll cook it for another one to two minutes while the cheese melts, and then you have your It's Corny Dip. And it's all the way corn because you use corn tortilla chips, right. you can fry up yourself, right. fresh, and who doesn't like fresh, mm. warm tortilla We love that. We love exactly. that. Exactly. Now, do you always serve it warm? I think it always would be best served warm, if not hot, just warm. Okay. You got that? Okay. I got that, sir. Okay. I'll yeah. keep it warmed right. up yeah. for 11 o'clock <laughs> yeah. Thursday morning. And you know, I've got to do everything. This is your dip. This is your dip. And if you want to grab a chip that and taste it really enough. quickly, it's very easy. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. And right now it's, you can find find decent, good, fresh corn. You can. Mm. Okay. You can. And what you can also do, if you want more heat or you don't want a, you know a lot of heat, just decrease the cayenne pepper or increase the cayenne pepper for your heat. That is so good. It's so sweet. Oh, that it is, is good. I'm serious. Going through that corn pouch and you pulling that corn off and oh. bite into it, it's it's really good. It reminds me of growing up down in Alabama. Oh, going that corn patch, just oh, grab it. Please. Really? Yeah. My grandparents had, you know, my grandfather was a farmer. He farmed and he grew everything, even the livestock. So it was fun to just have that fresh fruit. It really was. It really, it's yeah. almost bringing tears back to my really? eyes. I no, mean, that's the poblano pepper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so speaking of tears, what seed is uh, UAB? I mean, University of Alabama. What are you Alabama? talking about? What, no, what UAB? I didn't go to University of Alabama, Birmingham. What are you talking about? You know what I mean. You should have thought, out, thought about this joke a little bit better, sweetheart. UAB. Look how he turns that around. About? You're what right. You okay, I messed, it up. I messed it up. I it up. Chef, See, what is she talking about? I don't know. You gotta listen to I, I, I don't, I don't we'll, know what she's talking we'll about. about. We'll let her just stand over there and continue to ramble about well, who knows what. <laughs> uh, that's very best. Chef, what a great recipe, Thank though. you very much. Thank oh, you. And great taste. Nobody never did ask the real question. I, I don't know what it may be. I really don't. All right, I'm taking my I'm not corn. I'm not giving up with you. All right, continue to be as corny as you want to be.
Mr. Sheffield. Thank you very much. You're you are really working this. And that's all you do. This is all you do. It'll turn on all sides. It'll come black, put in a Ziploc bag, or just put it in a container, cover with saran wrap, some type of clear wrap, and it will sweat, and then you can just rub the, the skin off. Perfect. Yeah. Just rub it off. Just rub it off. <laughs> okay, Go back you. to that, that cornfield and yeah, all. Yeah. <laughs>